Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Malik Jod 34 channel. This is Malik Arjun. Uh, in this today's session, I'm going to demonstrate about the, uh, you know, a quick, uh, quick check about my clusterware health check. And, you know, the clusterware health check, uh, keeping clusterware health check and keeping your clusterware in healthy condition, it is one of the DBS day to day job. So you have to make sure that your clusterware is running good and it is in healthy condition. And also these, uh, whatever the basic command I'm showing it today, uh, are very, very useful in case of if you are planning to upgrade your clusterware or if you are planning to uh, you know planning for your patching your clusterware you know, and uh, if you are uh, applying any bug fixes on your clusterware so these are the commands these are the uh, basic checks you have to make sure that you know uh, uh, your clusterware is running in healthy state so these all are related to crctl cluster uh, uh, resource cluster control utility crctl uh, you know stat resource crctl stat resource hyphen init and crctl uh, query css software version active version release patch and release version and uh, oracle binary sticky bit and you know oracle uh, uh, cluster where patches these are the uh, daily checks you have to uh, do it and you, your cluster uh, should up and running in normal mode and it should not be any upgrade mode or rolling upgrade mode or you know uh, uh, in a patching mode so uh, to make sure that your cluster is running in, in in healthy state so these are the checks you have to uh, make sure and if you're planning for clusterware upgradations and you have to check all these commands and make sure that your cluster is ready for you know upgradation and after post upgradation also you have to run these commands and make sure that your upgradation is successful so uh, let's get started with the today's session before i take into this technical uh, lab session so if you are new to my channel always go back to youtube and search for malik jo 34 please do subscribe and if you missed out my previous videos you can always jump right in my youtube channel and if you like my videos don't forget to give thumbs up and please share with your friends and colleagues let's start with the today's uh, technical lab session and uh, i already connected to my lab environment here if you see here i have a two node cluster cluster one uh, you know esm1 is running that is 18c and one database dbm01 is running instance one is running on node one and similarly on node two esm2 and uh, db instance two is running so if i can quickly uh, set my env plus esm1 and this is my grid home and if i do ols nodes sorry ols nodes you can see right node 1 and node 2 host 1 and host 2 so both uh, uh, two node cluster it is and let's get started with the lab session so first command is crct stat resource hyphen t right so that will tell you what uh, how your cluster resource are uh, uh, how your cluster resource are located and how what is the state of your cluster resource if you see here right uh, my sm listener is up and running on both node data disk group dbfs disk group and listener and record disk group and if you see here helper and network ons advm proxy advm and my scan listener all three scan listener up and running and both the vips are up and running my asm instance are up and running and my database is up and running in open mode and rhp server is offline i'm not using rhp server and you can see this all the three scan ips are up and running so if similarly the same command if i run it on the other node uh, there also you will get the uh, same result because this is a cluster control utility it will give you uh, information from all the cluster nodes so if i can quickly go to the other command so in the crctl stat resource hyphen t hyphen init if you do it will list out your core services or core uh, you know uh, resources of your cluster where if you see here right i ran this command crctl stat resource hyphen t hyphen init you can see you can see all all the cluster uh, services are demons related to that particular node esm instance up and running crf is up and running crsd up and running and cssd monitor ctssd disk on sfs driver driver oka evmd gipcd gpnpd mdnsd and storage all the services are up and running and similarly if you run the same command on the node one you will see the same result you can see right 
all the resources related to this particular node are up and running. If any resource is not running, if any of the cluster services is not coming up, you have to run this particular init command and check which uh, where it struck, whether it struck on CRSD or whether it struck on CSSD or whether it is struck on G GIPCD, GPNPD and that particular resource will be offline and you have to look into that a particular log file and uh, make sure why it is not starting and you have to troubleshoot that okay going to the next rhp server if you are reaching rhp server and uh, make sure your rhp server is uh, up and running you can see right rhp server is enabled but it is not running because i have not uh, i'm not using rhp server similarly on the other node also you can check it out let's say sm2 RHP server, it is not running, and then software version. It will tell you what is your clusterware version, software version. You can see right 18C on this particular node. It is 18C. If I run the same same command on the other node, CRSTL query CSS software version, it is 18C. And if you run the other command, that is active version. What is the active version? see suppose when when this active version comes into picture i'll tell you uh, see currently active version is 18c and the cluster state is normal if you see right cluster state it should be normal and same command if i run it on the other node see cluster upgrade state is normal and your active patch level is this much and active version is 18c so suppose if you are doing the gi upgrade from 18c to 19c and you ran the root upgrade on node 1 and in node 1 it has upgraded to 19c in node 2 it is still it is on 18c that time if you run this active version your cluster upgrade state is going to be in upgrade mode or in rolling upgrade mode and your uh, patch level will be still in 18c and you will see active version is on 18c once you run the root upgrade on the last node that time your cluster active version become 19c and your uh, patch level will get changed and your cluster state become normal and if you just observe when you whenever you get a chance to, during the gi upgrade and the moment you run the root upgrade on node one that time you just check your uh, active version and even though if you run that active version on node one it will say that active version is 19 c 18c and your patch level it will still be pointing to 18c and once you run the root upgrade on the last node that time it become 19c you just whenever you get a chance you just observe this particular uh, and let's go to the next command the release patch what is the uh, release patch you can see right what are the patch it has applied if i run it one more time these are the patches are applied on my current grid home and release patch is again 18c if i go to the other node i'll maximize this one and i'll run the same command Right, same thing you can see all these patches are applied and uh, and the release patch is 18c 18.8 .8. you can see right 18.8 .8 is the release 18c and we applied uh, 8 that is the release patch and release version if I check release version on node 1 the release version is 18 and if I check in the other node right again same thing 18c and the sticky bit this this particular oracle binaries uh, you have to make sure that it has a proper sticky bit and proper md5 output you can see md5 output is this binary output and you can see right uh, this is a exa uh, decimal output and uh, alphanumeric output i can say uh, 2d0 ending with 2d0 and this is a oracle if i do ls hyphen ld you can see right rws R hyphen S. S is sticky bit. You have to maintain sticky bit on your this Oracle binaries. And similarly, MD5 sum if I run it on the other cluster node, you can see right ending with 2D0. Here also it is ending with 2D0. You have to make sure that this Oracle sticky bit and Oracle MD5 sum output should be same. And if I do the same LS hyphen LD on this node. You can see right rws yes, yes is sticky bit 
so we had, it should have a proper sticky bit and if i do the patch level it should have always uh, you know uh, same patch on 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 both rounds if i log into oracle user and if i run it okay you can see right these are the patch it has applied here on this particular oracle home database release 18.8 dbw dbwlm 18.4 ocw 18.8 tomcat 18.0 acfs 18.8 and ojm 18.3 and similarly if i check it on the other cluster node it should have the same patch oh, i should log into oracle user right so database release 18.8 dbwlm 18.4 ocw 18.8 tomcat 18.0 acfs release 18.8 and ojm is 18.3 so you have to make sure that all the or the cluster in the in the cluster grid oracle home all the patches should be applied equally on on both the node uh, in case if you are doing the patching in rolling mode and the moment you run the pre-patch command on node one and that time if you check uh, this particular uh, you know uh, this particular this particular command the well, that okay here this particular command active version you you are uh, you are, you can see the moment you run the active version it says normal mode here and during the patching upgrade in during the patching process if you run the pre patch command on node 1 and then do the patching on node 1 that time if you do this active version it will be in the patching mode or it will be in the upgrade mode or it will be in the in the rolling upgrade mode so that, that if your cluster where is in rolling upgrade mode then you will be able to bring up your cluster where even though there is a mismatch in the patch level or there is a mismatch in the uh, the uh, uh, cluster where when you are doing the gi upgrade uh, you will be able to bring up your cluster where even though there is a mismatch uh, there is a uh, between the node there is a mismatch in the software version or the patch version still you will be able to bring it up because of that rolling upgrade mode so that is one of the key point you have to make sure that your cluster where is in rolling upgrade mode when you are doing the patching or when you are doing the gi upgrade right so that's i believe that's it uh, for the today's session so tomorrow i will uh, I'll, I'll take one more session on the cluster where health check and few more commands we will demonstrate and then after that we'll start with the uh, database uh, rack database health checks uh, thank you guys